I'm constructing the die holder on my English wheel right now, and I had to think of something that would make a good slip fit for that die holder so I could have adjustments. So I picked up a uh, hitch and a sleeve and decided uh, they fit pretty close together. Maybe this will work. So there's a little bit too much slop between the two pieces. The video will show you what I'm gonna do about that. The first task is cleaning off the old paint, or I should say the brand new paint off of the uh, hitch itself. Now I've removed the hitch ball and I'm going to use that as a dolly block at some point in time. Here I'm showing you that I'm going to put 30 thousandths thick weld approximately, probably closer to 50 or 60. And then I will take that and throw it on my bridge port and all four sides will have the same amount of weld. I will machine those down to about 25 or 30 thou thick and that will give me a nice kind of a loose slip fit between this um, hitch, the hitch portion of the hitch and the hitch receiver. Those are going to be what make up my lower um, die holder for the English wheel. Here I'm cleaning it so I will be able to weld it with no problem. Just show you the uh, receiver, the hitch, how it kind of fits a little bit too loose in there. And here we go over to the welder. There it is cleaned up. I found out a little later and you'll see the flames that I should have taken the paint off of those radiuses as well because it catches on fire. So I'm pointing out there that I'll be putting that weld right down the center line of the sides of that hitch. Here's my Eastwood Take 200. Hey, there's my friend Clyde. So the material I'm welding is 230,000 thick mild steel. Right now I'm going to uh, use my Eastwood tungsten grinder and uh, it's running right now and uh, putting a nice finish on that thing. That's really important. I've discovered you see there it does a really nice job. Here we're going to lay down the first weld and uh, the biggest challenge I had on this was keeping a straight line. I was having trouble keeping a straight line going. Um, as, as I move along here, you'll see that I did use a soapstone and add a line, but it was still really hard for me to see, so I was kind of freestyling it as far as making that line straight. But uh, I was really happy with the welder and how it's working, and uh, so far so good. This shows you I'm welding at 140 amps. I'm using 1 8 ER70S TIG rod. It's mild steel, and uh, this seems to be working just fine. Here I just note that I'm adding 30 thousandths of weld on the center line of each side. You see the start there. It got off to a fairly straight start. But it didn't remain that way. Another problem I had in the beginning here was my hand holding the TIG wire was getting super hot. These are some Vulcan TIG welding gloves, but um, it was just really hot. So I'll end up switching here in a little bit over to a um, Lincoln electric weld glove for my uh, TIG uh, rod side. And uh, that was more for arc welding and that helped a lot. Okay, let's zoom in here. You can see the fire there, the paint on fire. You see the uh, wiggly line. I mean, it's probably good enough for what I'm doing. We'll find out when I go to machine it. But um, I just want that nice, smooth, um, almost mating surface. Like I said, a loose slip fit. Uh, so it goes up and down in the... Uh, holder, the die holder, uh, easily without getting bound up and everything. It's my first time make, making one of these myself. 
a little more welding. Got it spot up to, I think, three or five X here. See my Vulcan glove laying on the table and the Lincoln wel welder glove on my hand. Oh, I sorry, I put it on my uh, torch hand, not on my uh, TIG rod hand. There we go, a little bit better with the line, but it was still quite difficult to see. Since then, I've ordered a headlight that Arco recommended getting, and uh, hopefully that'll be here tomorrow, so next time I go to weld, I'll see how much improvement that makes, but it's supposed to help quite a bit. You see the last weld, it's a little bit burned up, but that's the way it goes. And uh, the uh, receiver here, and then I have the hitch just setting there, once I get that machine down, we'll have a good fit. Thank you for watching.